Fire, 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 fire in the hole! Hello, Jimmy! Hey, if you're train crazy and you love Minecraft, then hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you won't miss any of our next videos. We found this mine today. Let's go in it. It'll be super cool. Okay, see you guys later. Whoa, wait a minute. We're in a real mine? Yeah. Holy shamoly. Look at that. Every bit of the coal that came out of this mine was done with a pick and shovel. And this coal seam only runs 24, 28 to 34 inches high. Only 34? inches high, that's like a block. That's like this block right there. That's how high this mine was. You'd have to like bend down to crouch. I, I used to tell everybody, if you wanna see what that's like, you go home today and you crawl into your kitchen table. Guarantee you it'll be 30, 32 inches high. And you see if you can stay under there 10 or 12 hours. And that's, that's what you like to be a coal mine. Let me tell you about this scoop. You only had two ways to get around in a coal mine. If it was on your knees, crawling, or if you're lucky enough to have one of these scooters, you could use a scooter. Now this works pretty decent for them down here. It doesn't work as well going back the other way. You see this board over here says fireballs? Now this morning, before anybody came, I was in here fireballs in this mine. You go through it and you check for hazards and gases. And back in the old days, here's what a fireball had to do. He had to take this light. And he had to go in the mines and check for gas. Now, if you have a little bit of methane, it would ignite it. And it'd sit there and burn for a few seconds. Go out. Now, if you had a whole lot of methane, that's bad. Sometimes you had to get your new fireballs. I'm going to turn the lights up and show you how dark it is in the coal mine. It's pretty dark, isn't it? This is one of the first lights that the coal miner had. You know what this was called? Teapot light. It does look like a little teapot, doesn't it? Whoa, that's crazy. It's really small, isn't it? Here's how this light worked. You opened the lid and you filled it with kerosene and you lit it. Now, the coal miner wore this on his hat. You know how long this light lasts? One hour. Okay, I want to show you another light. You put water in the top and it's got a little lever right here. We call that a dripper. Now, when I turn that on, you're going to see it start dripping that water. Well, you drip that water on that carbide, and it creates a gas. Now, you know what that gas is? It's a settling. To light this light, you had to hold it in your hand for a few seconds and let that gas build. And that's how you Now, let me show you how this light came on our head to work. That's not, that's not a whole lot of light, is it? No. Now, miners today use a light like I've got on. Let me show you the difference. See how bright my light is? Mm. And my light will last 12 to 14 hours. The miners would work 12 hour shifts. And 12 hours, they would load, on the average, 10 of these one ton cars a piece. Now, you know how much he was paid for that? You might want to guess. Two hours, 20 cents. <laughs> yes. Now, if he turned around and he was shoveling this coal, and, and all of a sudden he'd over here his canary. It's time to see what's going on. Yeah, he's just sleeping. <laughs> and, and, and the thing about a canary, it's very sensitive to two gases. One is carbon monoxide, and the other is low oxygen. It takes very little of that to kill the canary. Whoa, did you know that, guys? He would drill those three holes, and now he's ready to put his dynamite. Now he would drill those three holes as deep as this, as this bit is. To work this drill, he had to hold this against his chest and drill this with his hands. This was called a tamping rod. Pushing his dynamite back in the holes. Now you can't just put your dynamite in there. You've got to have something to hold it in. So they would take clay mud and they would pack these holes out here next to the edge. So the dynamite won't shoot out the hole. And once he packed that mud in there, he would take this rod and he would push it back to his dynamite. And what he's doing now is making him a place for his fuse. 
Now he's ready to shoot his dynamite, but before he, he can, he's got one more thing to do. He had to come out here to the edge of this place, we call it the mouth of the place. And he's got to holler something real loud. Fire, 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 fire in the hole! Fire, 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 fire in the hole! Now this lunch bucket was a coal miner's bucket. The top part was what he put his dessert in. Piece of cake, piece of pie. This part of the bucket was what he took his lunch in. Pinto beans and cornbread or a bologna sandwich. That was at the top two. This was what he carried his water in. And he could take that much water. Now, when I worked underground, I worked with a crew of 10 men. Four of them wouldn't carry no water. And six of us did. And many a days, you go back to your lunch bucket to get your drink of water late in the shift. He wouldn't have no water. They would drink it on him. And finally one day a guy come up with a way to keep people from drinking his water. So I'm going to share with you what he did. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, did the guy put this no way. He put his he put his teeth in the water? <laughs> come back! <laughs> I was like, go, go! <laughs> Alright kids, hey, that was a lot of fun today. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time, kids!